When beginning to prep your cloth for uh, Cyflex application, you want to make sure that your operator stack is completely frozen and that your transforms are zeroed out. You can take the cloth pivot if you would like and obviously maybe move it to bounding box center so it's more centrally located. Uh, that doesn't really matter. More of the transforms are frozen just to keep everything nice and clean. When you're dealing with Cyflex, the scale of our scene matters a lot. And we have to decide what units we're working in to determine the scale of the simulation. There's a ruler that we can turn on in the other viewports. I'll use uh, Control Shift S to access the visibility options of all cameras. And under the visual cues, I'll turn on the ruler for all the other views. I've typically worked at the scale uh, where three units equals a foot or 200 or 100 uh, centimeters equals one meter. So at around 200 centimeters, we're dealing with a character that's about six foot four, six foot five inch tall. So whether you work in feet or meters, the scale is approximately the same. That's the unit scale that we've picked, and our character is proportional to that. So in order to figure out the scale of your cloth, we need to do a little bit of a calculation. One of the cool things about Cyflex is that they have a calculator that you can use to determine the values you need to set to make a simulation that works well. If we open up the Cyflex toolbar found under the View Toolbars Cyflex menu, we see the Cyflex options down in the lower left hand corner of the screen. If I open up the cloth menus, there's no help file that you can access. You actually need to go into your Explorer and open the files from there.